Welcome to LickMyProject.com. Next now I am going to discuss about the identification of Parkinson's disease using voice signal. Now we see about the concept of this process. Our main aim is to classify the Parkinson's disease voice signal and normal, normal signal. Parkinson's disease is the second commonest late life neurodegenerative disease after Alzheimer's disease. We present the engine jitter and shimmer feature extraction method for extract the features from the input voice signal. A person with Parkinson's disease has two six times the risk of dementia compared to the general population. For finding a healthy and unhealthy persons, we use Gaussian mixture model classifier for classification. Our proposed system is able to give the good performance also. This is the flow diagram for the identification of Parkinson's disease using voice signal. Let's now we are going to discuss about this flow. First, we design the flow for training and trusting set individually. The same uh, process is the same for both. First, collect the normal voice signal and abnormal voice signal in the data set. Next step is the pre-processing step. In pre-processing, first load the input virginal voice signal from the data set. Uh, then the noises is removed from the voice signal by the point average mean filter. From this we get the processed signal. Then next we go to the feature extraction method. In feature extraction, here we use um, jitter and the similar feature values to extract the features from the pre-processed signal. Uh, state of the art speaker recognition tend to use only the short time spectral features as voice information. Uh, jitter is the average absolute difference between consecutive periods divided by the average period. Feature vector was extracted from the acoustic system based on the nine jitter and uh, my measurements. The next step is the classification step. In the classification, uh, we use GMM. It's a parametric probability density function represented as a weighted sum of Gaussian component densities. GMMs are commonly used as a parametric model. The para parabolic probability distribution of continuous measurements or features in a biometric system, such as the local uh, trace related spectral features in a speaker recognition system. GMMs are often used in the biometric, uh, most notably in speaker recognition system. One of the powerful attributes of the GMM is the ability to form smooth approximations to actually shape the densities. Then uh, GMM classifier is a finite number of class and distributions with unknown parameters. One can think of mixture models as generalizing k-means clustering to incorporate information about the covariance structure of the data as well as the centers of the latent Gaussian. Then the next one is the performance analysis. Finally, to identify the better performance for the voice signal or normal signal, normal signal or abnormal voice signal. Uh, then finally, deduct whether the signal is a uh, person name. This is the MATLAB command window. These are the files which we used in this process. Uh, voice is the main function. We'll first choose the voice M file and click the run option. This is the guy window designed for the identification of Parkinson's disease. Uh, first, load the input signal. We choose any of the signal from the test set. Then, pre processing step is occur. So, if any noise is present in the input voice signal, then the uh, mini, uh, point average mean filter is applied. Then, the process is going to be. And noise is uh, removed, and it 
it's a display and then it stops us. Then we go to the next photo. In this first load the data set values. Here train all the data set features. Now we are having eight signals. So uh, all the signals are uh, loaded in this in this axis. Then the features are extracted in the table. Then next choose any one of the signal. Then the signal is uh, choose then separately values are extracted for the individual signal individual of any signal then click the feature extraction button for eight signals uh, the values actually the testing signal and the train signal uh, how the signals are placed in this column that is uh, features it's displayed in the every graph next we go to the gml classifier so the classification process has to be done and we click the classification process classification button if the signal is uh, displayed whether it is normal or abnormal then click the result button it shows the so the progress is in work the running process is over then the three graphs are displayed this graph denotes the how the voice is deviated or modulated and represent the individual voice signal normal signal as well as the or abnormal, or abnormal signal then the name denotes this box the name denotes whether the signal is which person have have the Parkinson's disease the next way go to the next button this is the comparison graph between the previous method and our uh, method because of the performance analysis then how much of accuracy we find we find and we also get uh, the better performance in this uh, red color denotes uh, denotes our process and the blue color denotes the existing method finally we control that the value of the input given in the signal is parkinson's this is a factor voice or normal voice then also get the performance analysis graph also thank you